Hey guys, Sarah from Aaron's Outdoor, and today we are doing something a little bit different. We are actually going to be fishing a sewer puddle today. So I saw this the other day when I was walking my dog, and I was just kind of curious. Like, there's water flowing out of it. Um, there's water flowing into it from a little pipe, and there's water flowing out of it like a little creek. Um, so it's not totally stagnant water, so I definitely think there could be fish living in here. So I'm just kind of curious to see whether or not there are fish living in here. So I'm starting off with a little trout magnet, which is a tiny little grub that should be able to catch uh, pretty much anything if there are fish in here. So anyway, that is enough talking. Let's get to fishing. All right, here we go. First cast into a little sewer puddle. Wasn't a very good cast, but. Oh, oh, you're kidding me. I just broke on a hook set. That was my first cast. Um, I don't know if that was like a turtle or something. I wouldn't think there'd be a fish big enough to break my line in there, but it might have been frayed. My line had just gotten stuck on one of these bushes and I pulled it really hard. It might have been a prickly bush, but oh yeah, that's a good sign. There's definitely something living in there. Okay, there's definitely fish in there. They're biting it, but they must be really small. Ooh. There we go, there we go, first fish. They were biting it like crazy, and it's a little baby green sunfish. So there you go, I, there's definitely more than one down there. Um, there are definitely some fish in this little sewer puddle, which is very interesting, but I thought there could be, because there's a little bit of flowing water. There we go, first fish out of the sewer puddle. It is a little green sunfish, like I said, and I bet there's more of these guys in there, uh, because green sun sunfish are a species that can live pretty much anywhere. So, uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and release this dude. There's a fish, ooh. Man, he came off. That looks like it might have been something besides a green sunfish. There we go, got one. Got another fish, finally. That took a while. Um, I switched to the smaller trout magnet, which is called the Trout Magnet Mini Magnet. And we got another little green sunfish. So anyway, finally got our second fish. I've had these tiny little fish hitting my lure almost every cast, but I think they're all just about this size, so it's hard for him to get it. Anyway, we'll let him go. Okay, well I spent about 35 minutes at this little sewer puddle, and we definitely did find some fish. There's definitely a lot of fish in here. Uh, but they're mainly just really small green sunfish and they're pretty hard to catch so I think I'm going to go ahead and make my way towards a little spillway that's usually a little easier to catch fish in. Got one. Oh! He came off. Got one. Ooh, there we go. That's a better one. Wow. This is definitely a better fish for this spillway. Um, I've, I've lost a couple green sunfish so far. I don't know if I'm going to show that or not, but this is a nice bluegill. I was here just a few days ago, and I didn't catch any fish this big. So yeah, there you go. Not a bad fish at all. I mean, you know, it's not that big of a bluegill, but for this spillway, it's a nice one. All right, I'll just have to give him a little release right there. Got one. There we go. Ooh, what? Oh, a crappie. No way. I have never caught a crappie out of this spillway. That's really cool. All right, well, this is another species to add to the list of my all-time species I've caught out of this uh, spillway. That's really cool. I did not know there were crappie in here. I've never caught one of these guys here. Well, that sure is a nice surprise. I did not think I would catch a crappie here today. Like I said, I've never caught one at this spillway or in the lake above it. All right, I'll just release him, get as far down as I can, but there he goes. Got him. Ooh, another decent bluegill. There we go. There's a bunch of them. I found out, like, pretty much all of them. Oh, well, he fell back, but pretty much all of them are, like, in that corner over there. That's where I'm getting the most bites. Oh, there we go. Another bluegill. 
I think that was my next cast. All right, we actually got this guy in here. So yeah, I think the main species down here is bluegill, but like we saw earlier, there's crappie too, apparently. All right, well, he's pretty dirty. I'm just gonna release him. Ooh, nice one. Is it just a bluegill? Yeah, just a bluegill. All right, well, the bluegill are bigger today than they were uh, a few days ago. Uh, when I was here a few days ago, I was catching tiny green sunfish and mainly just really, really small bluegill. But this one's a little better. Anyway, I'll take another bluegill. I'd love to get another crappie though. Well, unfortunately, I did not catch any more crappie that day because I actually did not catch any more fish that day. Um, but overall, it was still a fun day, just getting out there, trying a little puddle I'd never tried before. And actually to catch some fish out of it, um, just a few tiny green sunfish. And uh, like I mentioned, green sunfish can live pretty much anywhere. So I wasn't too surprised that those were the fish I caught out of there. But these little trap magnet kits always seem to get it done. Um, I caught one of the fish in that little puddle out of these trap magnet mini magnets. And then the rest I just caught on the original trap magnet. And these lures are great for fishing like little creeks like that. Um, little uh, like spillways like I did at the end of this video so if you've never tried out these trout magnets um, I would highly suggest you try them out um, I'll have links for the trout magnet mini magnet kit down below and the trout magnet neon kit which are usually around 10 to 13 dollars and they're really good value and come with um, a bunch of different little grubs and jig heads but if you just want to try them out it may make more sense to just like spend two dollars at Walmart to get a little pack that comes with a couple jig heads and a couple grubs and then you can try them out and if you like them then maybe you'll want to buy some buy one of these kits after that so anyway i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel down below and i'll catch you all on the next video thanks for watching